Hey everybody, got a cool, cool uh, comparison video for you guys today, you New King James folks. Uh, these three, I would categorize as three of the best uh, preaching Bible options. I haven't reviewed the New King James Preaching Bible yet, the, the latest edition in the calfskin uh, cover. That's coming today. I'll review it today or tomorrow morning, one of the two. But I have the Premier Collection, uh, large print thin line reference. I have the New King James Preaching Bible. Uh, both of these are recent productions. And then I have the the super rare, super popular Nelson Signature Series Reference Bible. Okay, so we're going to compare these three uh, as quick as I possibly can and uh, and show you the benefits of all three of them. All right, so let's first show you the one that I know that you are dying to see. I just reviewed it. It's the Signature Series, and this is a smaller Bible. As you can see, the, the this is the Preaching Bible. You can see the Preaching Bible is a little bit bigger. Uh, it's, you know, an inch wider, a little more than an inch taller, a little bit thicker. So the Preaching Bible is a big Bible. This is more, uh, it's, a, it's a more portable, it's much lighter uh, Bible. And let's open it up and you can see the uh, layout. This has the French mill paper, ba barely any ghosting. And, uh, and the center column references. Okay, so it's awesome. I believe it's sitting, sitting right here. Now the Preaching Bible has a 36 GSM paper and an 11 and a half point font. It's a big font. So it has the, the uh, dual color, but you can see it has more ghosting but it's a lot bigger text for preaching. You have your references at the bottom. Uh, the calf skin's really nice, and uh, and it is edge lined, you know. So it's a really nice calf skin uh, cover, but it's just it's not the exact same. All right, so this is a this is a Chinese calf skin. It's going to feel differently than a North American calf skin, and you can see the difference in the texture. Uh, this uh, Chinese calf skin is much finer. Uh, the North American calf skin, you'll see that that grain, that beautiful grain from that Abba binding. Uh, you have the sewn perimeter on the Preaching Bible. Uh, you don't have a sewn perimeter on the Signature Series, uh, but you do have the exterior tooled line. Now, the, the spines is like night and day. You have this, the gold stamping on this beautiful uh, calf skin for the Signature Series with the raised ribs. That's huge. Those raised ribs are so beautiful, and uh, it's just a, a beautiful thing where the Preaching Bible just has these printed. I, I don't know if they're even hot stamped. They might just be gold printed. I'm not exactly sure. They probably are stamped. They have a little, you can feel a little texture change. Uh, but this is not going to last as long as the Signature Series uh, uh, Gold. Okay, so uh, that's how those two compare. Uh, the layout, and I'll leave this one open. Uh, the layout's going to be similar to the to the uh, Premium, I'm um, sorry, the Premier Collection. This is going to have a larger text, though. Uh, but you can see some ghosting. So you're having some trade-offs with, uh, with whether, you know, you want... A larger text with the uh, different coloring for the chapter numbers and section headings um, or you know the uh, the French milled paper which you don't have the multicolor you have about a nine point font but it's actually maybe better a better reader uh, just because of uh, of the uh, the paper being so good and it's such a dark printing so uh, it just depends on what your preferences are, okay? So, uh, but this is a much more expensive Bible. And it's a three or $400 Bible. Uh, and times, they can go a lot higher than that, just depending on how available the, the editions are for sale. Uh, but it's definitely worth the money. This is a true heirloom 
uh, Bible here, but it's also will be good for preaching uh, aside from the uh, the smaller text. It has a, like about a nine point font. The columns are a little closer together where you can see the uh, the text has a little more room to breathe on this type layout. Now let me show you the Premier Collection. It has a goat skin cover, the same spine. So I'm hoping, especially after talking with uh, Daniel Mars, their publisher, uh, that they'll go to uh, raised ribs, uh, kind of more of a throwback to the signature series uh, days. Uh, those just extremely excellent bindings and uh, and blocks. Now the blocks on these Premier Collection editions are fantastic. So, but here is the uh, the large print thin line. It's going to be in a paragraph format. Okay, we're in Isaiah, so it's going to show verse by verse. But if we get to like here's Daniel, you'll sh you'll see it's in a paragraph format. It is a ten point font, so it's a larger font. It's not going to be as large as a preaching Bible, but you do have your references at the bottom. So if you don't mind a double column paragraph. Uh, format to preach from this could be a great option it has that nice paper minimal ghosting but even then when you have this 36 gsm paper when you compare it to the uh, signature series it the ghosting is near uh it's, it's almost non-existent in the signature series where you do have some ghosting in the premier collection and a little bit more ghosting in the preaching bible so it just depends on what uh, what you find is most important. Okay, so if you can handle a smaller text size, um, then then it's a no brainer, uh, and you can afford it. Uh, the The signature series is a much better, uh, longer lasting uh, Bible. It'll hold its value longer. You'll be able to use it longer. Pass it down. Uh, these all you can you can pass down. These are all built to last uh, with edge lined bindings, uh, great paper, great gilding. All these will be uh, will be quality bindings uh, that would last. Uh, but uh, stuff like this on the spine uh, that'll go away fairly soon uh, with constant use. Uh, not sure how this uh, this calf skin will break in. Not sure how this goat skin will break in. Uh, the liners are fairly loose. They're not gonna. They're they're really floppy bindings. So it just depends on your preference there. But also, uh, it just it not really sure how they're gonna hold up. We'll see over time how they hold up. Um, I'm hopeful that they'll be excellent. Um, but we know we know that this signature series holds up well. We know these ABBA bindings hold up well uh, over time. So this is tried and true. Uh, so if you can handle the smaller print, it's a smaller uh, size. This is more like a classic reference size, the six by nine, uh, inch and a half thick, uh, just your typical um, uh, classic reference size. Uh, if you have a ESV one, NIV one, it's that size. It's a little bit smaller footprint, a little bit, uh, this is actually a slimmer binding than I thought, a slimmer block than I thought, but uh, it's just excellent. So there's a few options. Again, I'm gonna do a separate review of the Preaching Bible, uh, as well as the uh, King James Preaching Bible from uh, Thomas Nelson. Uh, but as a comparison, those three, uh, you just have to find what uh, what you value most in a preaching Bible, and uh, and where you uh, where you want to put your money. You know, you could buy five of these for the price of one of these. You could buy four of these for the price of one of these. So it just depends on what you value. Uh, if you buy a signature series Bible, this Bible will not disappoint whatsoever in any sort of way. Uh, it will not disappoint. It's just, it's the best New King James uh, I've ever, I've ever held in my hand. So uh, I have a really high affinity for this Bible. Uh, these I also really love. I love the the Premier Collection, large print thin line, 
Uh, it has a great layout, uh, great usability in the pulpit, and the, the new preaching Bible. It, it is going to be an exceptional Bible for Thomas Nelson. Uh, it's a much bigger Bible, so it just depends a lot on your size preference, your text layout, your uh, paper. Uh, so it, a lot of those things are just really subjective depending on the person. So there's your comparison, those three. Uh, I could have put the open Bible, the new open Bible out here as well, but it's it's not edge lined. It has a great font, uh, the new comfort print font like these two have. Uh, it's a center column reference, so it actually compares closer to the uh, signature series. Uh, but it's again, it's a uh, genuine leather uh, with a paper paste down liner. So not not completely apples to apples comparison. Uh, that's why I did not include it. So anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, how do you think each one compares? How would you rate them? One, two, three, or one, two, three? Uh, how would you rate these in order of what which one you would preach with, uh, you know, soonest? Uh, let me know in the comment section. Also, if you're not a subscriber, please consider considering uh, hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell uh, so you can get notified whenever I upload new videos. And uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys. God bless.